Hello friends, in the previous video, we learnt how to solve a syllogism question with possibility in conclusions taking two statements in the context. Now in this video tutorial, we'll take another example of three statements and learn the concept to its depth. So here we are with the example. In this example, three statements are given as S1 which is some boys are nuns, S2 which is some books are nuns and S3 which is all nuns are tops and three conclusions are given as C1 some boys are tops C2 some books are tops and C3 no boys are tops now before we start solving this question and choosing the conclusions that follow let's observe the conclusions first we can see that in C1 and C3 we need to find a relationship between the classes of boys and tops which in statements are here and here. Now while moving from the class of boys to the class of tops, we can see that the middle term between S1 and S2 which is nuns is not distributed in either S1 or S2. And therefore we can say that we are not able to find a definite conclusion between the classes of boys and tops. And if we observe further, we can see that the conclusion C1 is of I type and conclusion C3 is of E type statement with the same classes in subject and predicate respectively and thus they form an E plus I combination. Now let's check the conclusion 2 in which we need to find a relationship between the classes of books and tops. Now you can see that the middle term which is nuns here is not distributed in S2 but it is distributed in S3 and hence we can deduct the middle term and the conclusion we get here is some books are tops which we can find in conclusion 2 and the final answer is C2 and either C1 or C3 follows so friends this is it in the next video tutorial we'll discuss the type 2 possibility cases of syllogism problems. Till then, keep learning and have a great time.